All right, I actually do have one more update. Um, nothing too crazy, but it was just something I was just thinking about doing. And uh, before I even jump to into it, let me just show you a few little things that I've been working on. Let me just uh, bring this down a little bit. So basically, this is the, one of the UI I was actually working on for the game initially. Um, I'll show you a bunch of them actually. So uh, these are different UIs I've been working on. This this was one of the original UIs for the game. And uh, as you can see, I actually change it or try to come up with different little concepts or ideas for it. Uh, these are different things. Uh, the, this has nothing to do with. Um, this was basically layouts and, and fragmentation I was trying to do for different things. And these are all different kind of UI elements I was creating or trying to come up with for an idea for the game itself. Um, I'll zoom in just a little bit better so you guys can see. Let me go back. But these are all little UIs I was working on. And, uh, you know, just trying to find the right element that would work for the game itself. Uh, for this particular one, like right now, this is basically with opacity. This is not. So if I go into it, you can see it's broken down even further into how I was trying to actually get something that works for the game itself. Uh, and it was a lot of little trial and error, but they're broken down to segments because when I bring it into Game Maker, I'm bringing in almost like layers and then I'm loading them in. So this is basically for the player. This was actually, well, this is another layout area that I create, I work on as well. Basically just to see how it will look in the game itself. Games are made, the designs are done in Flash, but then they're then imported into Game Maker Studio. So I break things down just to see how things will look, you know, framing it up and just trying to give little angles, as you can see, little breakdowns for certain attacks. Uh, and that's a boss or a character you'll see later on in the game. But pretty much all the designs are done in Flash, uh, exception of maybe like some 3D things. And this is another breakdown or an export, I would say, for that file. And this is actually a loader for when the boss character actually comes in, it will load it, load up their actual light, uh, health bar and then bring it in. Um, so let me show you how it looks in game. Well, of course that's game because you can see, I already loaded up the, the game already. So right now we are facing off against one of the boss characters. The life bar is already there for this particular boss already, so it doesn't really matter. Of course, there's my shields again. As you can see now, there's transparent, whoops. Ooh, got too close to that other thing. But as you can see, there's transparency. And um, where's that boss? So it's over here. And right now, the reason why, again, you're, the, the boss is pretty much just in a debug mode, so that's why I haven't really flushed out how the boss character will fully look in armor. But as you can see, their life bar is going down. That's the yellow at the very top. It's hard to see on this kind of screen, but uh, but yeah. So let me actually show you now how it loads up. Uh, clear. Oh boy, let me just do this over. So I'm gonna just reload this again. Mm, that's a bug I'm just gonna have to fix later. In the meantime, we can uh, let's do another jam that I was actually working on uh, after listening to Transformers. Okay, so watch how the life bar loads up for the boss character at the very top. There you go. You know, it's just a very simple little thing. You know, it's all about just the look of certain things to make them look interesting. This is a, again, this is a beta test mode, so I'm able to test things quickly to see how they would look. And there we go. That's one of the other boss character health bar going down. I may change it. You know, but right now, this is what I'm working with to see if that's going to be perfect. And, you know, you, for certain bosses, you can get close to them. Other bosses, you can't. Because there's some of them that, you know, they have high shields. Let me get out of here. And this is pretty much the layout of how it will look right now. Um, let me see if I have my other device. Hopefully somewhere. If I can find it. Um, where did I put it? Alright, let me 
this make it a, you can take a look at this right here for a quick sec let me find this other phone Oh, my mistake. Yes, as you can see, uh, you're taking heavy damage. The character didn't die yet. Well, he's dead now. So what I was initially showing is, of course, the game running on my phone itself. I haven't loaded the latest update as yet onto my phone as yet. But of course, as you can see, functionality is still there. This is pretty much using the, the old layout so we have to have to change that but um, as you can see the difference between the old UI and the current new UI okay and that's about it cool